And that concludes this edition of News Review from the EU News Network. Of course, we're updating 24 hours a day, seven days a week on our website, news-network.eu. And finally, we would like to extend our warmest wishes and congratulations for the launch of Global 24, which is broadcasting news, culture, music, and indeed this program on 9395 kilohertz on shortwave at Global 24 and broadcasting 24 hours a day. And uh, we wish you all of the luck in the world and are proud to be part of your life. That's Global 24. Check them out. Global24radio.com. Until next week. Bye-bye. next generation of shortwave broadcasting has begun. Broadcasting news, culture, and perspective 24 hours a day on 9395 kilohertz. Learn how we are changing your listening world at www.global24radio.com. <laughs> your friends at Global 24 Radio. Welcome to Global 24 Radio. I'm Jeffrey Bowman. Tonight, our first night on the air. We're happy you're here. We're excited to be broadcasting worldwide on shortwave on 9395 kilohertz. The purpose of tonight's program is really to give you an introduction to our show, to our programs, and give you a little bit of information about our station and what's driving us and hopefully what will drive you, our listener, to engage with us, communicate with us, and ultimately uh, learn with us as we rebroadcast programs uh, from around the world and, of course, programs of our own creation. It goes without saying that we're very interested in your reception reports. Uh, if you would like to share a reception report with us in terms of how you're hearing Global 24 here on WRMI, please visit our website, about.global24radio.com. That's about.global24radio.com. What we're looking at uh, in terms of QSLs is we've got our inaugural uh, broadcast QSL card that will be available for the first week of our broadcast. And if you're interested in getting that card, you can get a little bit more information about it uh, here on our website. And of course, uh, we've also uh, set up an email address to get electronic QSL reports at QSLs at global24radio.com. Again, QSLs at global24radio.com. We've got a form that you can fill out online to send us your reception report. And of course, uh, you can also send us a report via snail mail. Our mailing address, for those of you who are using snail mail, Global 24 Radio, 2719 Hollywood Boulevard, Suite B-16, Hollywood, Florida, 33020. Again, Global 24 Radio, 2719 Hollywood Boulevard, Suite B-16, Hollywood, Florida, 33020. We also want to stay in touch with you, our listeners. We've established several email newsletter lists that we would love to have you subscribe to. Our email newsletter list will be your place uh, to get up-to-the-date programming information as it becomes available. It'll be your chance to get content from us. We're going to write a lot of informational articles about world news, about breaking news, about what's going on here at Global 2 Four Radio. And our hope is that uh, you can join us on email uh, by visiting our website again and joining the email list if you have not yet done so. A few notes on programming. Many, uh, many of you have written in and asked about, well, when will the program schedule be available and what exactly will be on the schedule? 
What we can say at this point is that we'll be releasing parts of the schedule over the next few days uh, as we finalize everything, uh, finalize our program and lineup for you. So stay tuned. Keep checking the website for more programming information. I know we will be putting up quite a bit of information on the website over the weekend with links to different programs we'll be airing, uh, upcoming programming announcements, uh, and so on. Uh, suffice it to say, for tonight, we think we've got a great lineup for you. On the schedule tonight, uh, of course, the Global 2 for a Welcome show that you're listening to now. Then we're going to be doing some easy listening with The Rendezvous, uh, a two-hour program with news and music uh, based out of uh, Europe that will uh, be airing uh, from 01 UT to 0, uh, 300. And then at 0, 300 UTC, we've got a wonderful biography uh, profile of Nelson Mandela from Peace Talks Radio that we think will uh, we think that you'll really enjoy. From 0, 400 UT uh, tonight, uh, for a four-hour block, we're going to be carrying Radio France International as they take us through their world news. Uh, beyond that, uh, stay tuned on the website, uh, stay tuned on the air. We will be making more announcements as to uh, our programming schedule for the balance of the weekend. Uh, I can say uh, Sunday night, tomorrow night, uh, November 2nd, uh, UTC, uh, from 100 hours at UTC, we'll have our Global 24 uh, mailbag program. Uh, that'll be the first airing of our mailbag show. We're then going to rebroadcast at 0030 uh, Israel, <coughs> Israel Radio for 30 minutes, followed by Raul Van Hall's Jazz from the Left. We're going to have three hours of incredible jazz uh, right here on shortwave radio, uh, all the way out running up to uh, past midnight. In terms of programs to look forward to, news will feature uh, very prominently on our schedule. We will have news features from Democracy Now!, from Feature Story News, from the European News Network, uh, from our own news desk, uh, a program called Global 24 Breaking News. And we all uh, will also air Focus Asia Pacific uh, daily. Uh, that's a news program covering the Pacific Basin. From a music perspective, we've lined up a very full complement of shows, uh, including Jazz from the Left, which I already mentioned, which will be airing uh, this weekend. We have a classical rock show called The Rock Pile. We have another blues show called Blues Radio International. If you listen to WRMI on Sunday nights, you'll be aware of uh, this program hosted by Jesse Finkelstein. Uh, it's really a great uh, look at blues radio and what uh, at, blue, at the blues and what's happening uh, in the blues uh, on the blues scene. We'll have classical worldwide on shortwave. That'll be a three-hour weekly program uh, of classical music, and we will also have a top 40 uh, type program uh, with a twist. It's not just uh, top 40 uh, here in the U.S. It's uh, top 40 uh, chart toppers from the web around the world. In terms of other shows, uh, to look forward to, you can check out our website, about.global24radio.com. We are announcing close to 15 additional shows uh, on uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. So we're really just uh, giving you a short little preview of what you can expect uh, here uh, on the radio with us. We will be relaying uh, several international broadcasters, uh, including Radio France International that I've already mentioned, Channel Africa, The Voice of Russia, Radio Prague, uh, Radio Slovakia. So we do have a, a little bit of an international flair and that we will be uh, relaying those international broadcasters uh, into, in addition to the content that uh, we uh, create uh, here for you. Global 24 Radio is also commercial shortwave radio. And that means that you will be fed a regular diet of commercials, both on the air, advertisements uh, on the website, uh, messages uh, in our newsletters from our sponsors. So each newsletter that we send out will have a sponsor. And our sincere hope is that you are listeners uh, that so value shortwave radio as so many hundreds of you have written in in the last week to tell us uh, how important shortwave radio is uh, in your life and in your daily uh, news and information uh, consumption, that you'll take a few moments to uh, at least consider our sponsors when uh, you're making uh, purchases of both radio equipment, uh, everyday household items, uh, and the like. You'll find uh, on our website that we have many ways 
that you uh, too uh, can sponsor and support Global 24 Radio, uh, including uh, direct sponsorship of programs. If there's a certain program that you really like, uh, we invite you to navigate to the program page for that uh, particular program on the website. And there are options to uh, to sponsor it and to make sure that we keep it on the air here. Uh, so we're commercial radio, but with a twist, right? Uh, shortwave radio has uh, really never been commercialized uh, to the extent that we're proposing to do it, and we really want to find a way that works for everybody uh, to do that. So we need your help in doing that, and uh, you know, so far, everyone's uh, feedback to our team uh, here at Global 24 uh, has been decidedly positive. Uh, we've got uh, a few staff members uh, uh, that you'll be hearing on the air in coming days. Uh, our general manager, Phil Workman, uh, who can be reached at pworkman at global24radio.com. Marcy Schlegel, who is our programming director, who's been working overtime uh, putting together our programming schedule. Tina Troy. Uh, Tina is our social media director. So if you're new uh, on Facebook and Twitter and you... Uh, want to keep up with what's going on here, we invite you to uh, uh, check out those platforms and uh, navigate to the Global uh, Global 24 uh, website to, uh, to follow us. The team here also wanted to mention uh, that we really consider this to be a soft launch this weekend. We are uh, going to be inserting more and more pr uh, commercials uh, into uh, the programs beginning on Monday of next week. Of course, we will be announcing more programs that I've already referenced uh, uh, earlier in this broadcast. Uh, and again, we really look at this as a soft launch tonight uh, of Global 24. Uh, we want to hear from you in terms of how you're hearing us, uh, how the audio sounds, uh, what the uh, overall quality is of the 93.95 frequency. And uh, that is the information that we're trying to gather this weekend, in addition to giving you some great programming. So bear with us throughout the launch. Uh, we really look forward to the coming week and really getting all of our different websites and website features and components up and running and fully announcing our program list. So stick around. I think we've got some great stuff in store uh, for you uh, here on Global 24 Radio. Thank you so much. Radio International. On shortwave, satellite, and the internet, this is Media Network Plus. Hello, I'm Keith Kong, and welcome to another edition of the program. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that censorship is a powerful tool in the hands of the Chinese Communist Party. Now, I can tell you a number of experiences firsthand, but we'll keep that to another show. Evelyn Chow is a freelance journalist, author, and editor, now based in New York City. She's been writing about the five years she spent in China working at an English-language business magazine. Mark Holbein had a chance to sit down with her and asked her what she experienced working for the business publication in China when it came to censorship. We published in English, uh, which is not censored as strictly in China, and we were a business publication, which is also not censored quite as strictly. But the main things we found were our publisher had something we called the three T's, which stood for Tiananmen, Tibet, and Taiwan. He always said those were the sort of three most taboo topics in Chinese media. 